people, 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 people. Keep pass a suck, pass say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. As a parent of kids, teenager, young adults, you have to be very, very careful. Be very careful because of the choices that your child, young adults, adolescents might make. Because it seems as if this new generation, they gravitate to the most worthless partner, worthless man, worthless woman that they can find. And whenever they make these choices, it always leads to that family member, mother or father being stressed out. It always leads to that family member getting hurt or in some cases losing their life. I am going to quote from one specific case. Selector Ricky Trooper, he lost his daughter the other day. His daughter was in some sort of relationship with some sort of man that seems to have been obsessive, jealous. That man, the baby father, father of one of her child, end up piping her up, meaning that she got S-H-O-T, she was taken out, the man was on the run, they would eventually find him in a some place, I think, Connecticut. Don't quote me. He was on the FBI US Marshals wanted list and they eventually found him. Now when his daughter got murdered, he did not say in so much words, but he indicated that there was trouble in paradise. He indicated that she and this man was in a relationship. Things were not going so good and they pretty much break up. However, the man was obsessed and like all obsessed man, they start to stalk. Them don't want the lady to get any other person. Them become jealous. They get in all sorts of jealous rage. Them end up juke ju up somebody, pie pie up something. Somebody end up losing their life. Somebody ends up getting hurt. Now the problem was with this situation is that Ricky Trooper being Jamaican, he had lost his US visa for a little while. I guess he was on social media with some sorts of tool making some sorts of threats and then they eventually revoke or took away his US visa. So you can just imagine as a father losing a child in a very tragic way and then you don't have access to going to the United States for that child's final send off or the church sermon. So people I am going to show you a video with when Ricky Trooper went to the church in which they were keeping that ceremony for his daughter's final send-off. I am going to show you when he was greeted by what seems to be his daughter and then the reception that he got when he entered the church. Because of the fact that music is going to be played in the background, I am going to mute the rest. However, I am going to let the video play and then I am going to give you a case in which a next family, a young lady, is going through the same thing that Ricky Trooper's daughter and a whole lot of Jamaican young women are going through because they like to pick up the hot man. The men that probably make good lovers, however, worthless father, no good men. So people, let me speak about Ricky Trooper first. Take a listen, take a look at the video and then I will give my peace. <laughs> so people like you see you saw when he entered the church he was greeted by his daughter and then a next family member you saw the reception that he received as he walked into the church. People are kind of shocked. People are surprised to see him because for all they know, 
most person is that he was pretty much blocked from coming to the United States or going to the United States. So you see the reception that he received in the church. All type of hugs, all sorts of cheers. The emotion was overwhelming in this church because people know, say, listen, as a father, regardless of what you did in the past, don't know if any sorts of person supposed to lose their family and then cannot visit that person final send off because of visa issues i am assuming that some sorts of calls were made some sorts of link was made and then ricky trooper got some sorts of humanitarian visa what a humanitarian visa is if there's any sorts of tragedy in the family any sorts of medical problem that means uh, you need to leave from Jamaica, don't have a U.S. visa. Somebody is going to grant you that visa, whether it is going to be some sorts of U.S. embassy official, some sorts of Jamaican consulate, some sorts of person with some sorts of connection. So my point is that he got that visa under unusual circumstances. He had to have lost a daughter for there to be any sorts of consideration any sorts of sympathy so that he can go back to the united states now people i am sure that if you ask ricky trooper he would rather to have his daughter back than to have this u.s visa however my point is this if you as a mother or father and have children that are adolescents meaning teenager in a them 20s or so this is a problem that a whole bunch of family are going through especially with their daughters because it seems as if some of these young lady may not know what kind of choice they are making what type of plans they have for their future however it seems as if the worthless man, the worst father figure that they can find, these are the men that they seem to choose. People, like I said, Ricky Trooper had mentioned that there was trouble in paradise. He within himself, without divulging exactly what transpired, said, yes, this man and his daughter had problems. That man came back and haunt his daughter in the worstest way. Meaning that she lost her life. She was gone for good, never to return. So people, that was Ricky Trooper's daughter's case. However, I am sure that if I ask most persons in the comment section or any cross section of Jamaica or overseas, tell me about your experience with your daughter or your friend or family members that have daughters going through the same thing it is going to be something that is the norm rather than the exception i am going to give you a next case as it pertains to a set of people born in a 1993 that means uh, they would be 30 year old i am speaking about a young lady her name is k-a-r-i-c-k-i-a karikia karikia Mullins and a next man, Pieran Mario McDonald's, both of them born in 1993. They have two children, the boy's name Liam and the girl's name Liana. Kariaka, Karika, Karikia, sorry, she lives in Canada. Jamaican born lives in Canada. She met Mr. Mario in 2017 somewhere in Negril when she just met him everything was fine everything was okidori they were dating she would make several trips to Jamaica he would often pay for the trip however people as soon as the girl get pregnant as soon as she have two picnic the script start to flip because all he wanted was the joy. All he wanted was the P-U-M-S. All he wanted was the brains. All he wanted was all sorts of F-R-E-A-K-Y stuff. However, 
he was not or will never be ready for any sorts of relationship as it pertains to being a responsible father. So anyway, like she said, she sent me a text and people, I have never gotten a text that is so long ever. With all my experience on social media, me never get a text along. It was like some sorts of book. However, I was patient and I read every line, every word in which she sent because I found it very disturbing. As a matter of fact, I sent it to the relevant authority along with his picture. Hopefully, they will do what they are supposed to do. However, the reason why she got herself in this predicament is that it seems as if she have odd ears like a whole lot of these young ladies. So people like me say they met in 2017. Relationship was going good until she got pregnant. When she got pregnant, that is when the physical ABUSE started. That is when she start get cough cough up. That is when she start get con con up. That is when she start get all sorts of clotting in her face. However, it seems as if she was young, she was gullible, she was naive, and like I've always said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. On the last few occasions that she came back, it was the same experience, very bad, physical A-B-U-S-E. However, the last time, it was her children or one of the child's birthday, so therefore, she decided, listen, I am going to bring the children to spend time with their father since they have not seen him in a couple of years, 2021. So she did that. She went to the boy's house. He lives in Trelawney. When she went to the house, based on conversations that they've had before, he told her that he have a new girlfriend. He was in a relationship. However, she says she wanted to pick them, spend time with him, with the father. So therefore, she went back. She left from Canada and she went back to Trelawney, the same place in which she gets her regular clot clotting. While she was there, the boy tell her, say, he have a new girlfriend. However, she was there. She decided she was going to sleep in one of his t-shirts and she had on no sorts of undies. Now, people, you can lay down if you're hot, you live at Jamaica, and you tell a boy, say, you and him knowing or nothing, you can't sleep naked if you so choose. However, under the circumstance in which this man have him girlfriend, animal look, P-U-S-S-Y, or pums, whichever way you want to call it, do you think that that is the right thing to do? The fact that you're in his t-shirt and the fact that she's in his t-shirt does not mean that he is entitled to some sorts of poems. But me just say, do not rub butter palm post mouths. It is going to be still R-A-P-E if him force himself and people. So said, so done. Based on the text that was sent to me, it is said that while she was sleeping in the front bedroom, he was in the couch. I guess the kids were in the next room, I am assuming. Him come in there, him start to touch, touch her up. Him start to force himself upon her. And she had tell him, say, listen, you know, have your woman, me don't in a it with you. The fact that you are not a responsible father, you are not even contributing 5% towards the well-being and the safety and the liberty of your children. So therefore, how is it you expect me to sleep with you after all that you've done to me stressfully, mentally, physically, S-E-X-U-A-L-L-Y. So anyways, him and her did it, him and forced him away, him kind of quit. He realized that she was not in it with him. So therefore, him stop, him go roll up a spliff. She thought that the trauma was over him come back again with the same thing. However, when him come back this time, him come back with some sorts of knife, him start to juke ju her up, him start to punch her up on her leg. This boy even had the audacity for going to the kitchen, get some sorts of knife, and a hole at the girl throat, the girl face, and I tell her, say, if him not put 
or him tealy in her mouth or she not put him tealy in her mouth and lick lick it off. Way him a go do to her. Him go K I L L R. Him a go hurt her. People, remember, these people have two picnic in the house that more than likely aren't asleep throughout this whole ordeal. But it only shows you the type of man that this man is, and it only shows you the type of naive, gullible, fool person that this girl is. However, people, I am not here to bash the victim, but me just I say I am calling a spade a spade. I am calling it as I see it. So, anyways, people, eventually she would call the poor poor. When the poor poor come, it seems as if. The poor poor that are in the era in Atrilani, they have gotten several reports from this lady before. So therefore, when them come back, it was like, oh, a uno again. Based on the information what this lady is saying, it seems as if he has some friends, he has some family, he has some close-knit people in the poor poor department. So therefore, people, it seems as if they were shielding they were making sure that this man did not get arrested even though he was doing all sorts of stuff that would equate to R-A-P-E, physical A-B-U-S-E, mental A-B-U-S-E, T-H-R-E-A-T-S on a person's life. Putting the kid's life in jeopardy, not taking care of his own children. He was doing everything that would warrant an arrest at any other normal place in the world with the exception of Jamaica. But people, here is the thing. There is a story about a little boy or a little girl that used to cry wolf. Every time falls alarm, wolf, wolf, wolf. When the people them hear him or she start call wolf again, them not believe her. So it seems as if on top of the fact that the poor poor in a Jamaica, they are biased, they are corrupt. When you hear the same story over and over, you are not going to believe it. You are not going to take it serious because if this person does not show that, listen, she wants to get away from this relationship. When she gets an opportunity, she leave from Jamaica, she jump on the Nutsford Express, she go at the airport, she jump on a plane, she go to Canada, and she come back again over and over and over. That is called the definition of insanity. And sometimes these people are so emotionally hooked, traumatized. It seems as if them basically tie them with some sort of obia man I am speaking about mentally. So people, anyway, based on what this lady is saying, when the poor poor came to the house and they asked, explain the situation, give your side of the story, the man I said to her, then owe me for R-A-P-E, any sorts of double H-O-R-E. That is what he said in front of the poor poor. The lady even said, forget about the spots, that on some occasions she would be sleeping and when she wake up, she feels something splash in her face. The boy over her a ejaculate upon her face. And that wake her up. So people, you know, she said, this girl, yes, she's a victim. But after going through this experience, why are you coming back? So anyways, back to the situation as it pertains to the poor poor. The lady said when the poor poor, especially a female officer, she come and she a rush lady, listen, it not seem like you're ready. We are going to drive left you if it not seem like you want to come. People, that is because these people did not take this lady serious. However, when you come in a situation like that, especially in a Jamaica where so many women are getting hurt, getting K-I-L-L-E-D, why would you not think that this lady is serious? Yes, she's young. Yes, she's naive. Yes, she's kind of gullible. However, it does not mean that you're supposed to leave her. It does not mean that you're supposed to step on her face while she is down in the dirt. The poor poor, they are supposed to be more responsible. They are supposed to assess, analyze each situation, even if she call them 20 times on the 21st time. They are supposed to know that this situation seems kind of dangerous. Maybe we need to 
intervene. Maybe we need to separate this family from this man because at the end of the day if it keeps up like the way that it is keeping up somebody is going to lose their life so anyway people she eventually left she left and she did not leave and go back to canada she left and she went to go stay with the boy mother Eventually, the CMBS continued. She left and she went. The, the, his mother lives in Montego Bay, I think. Don't quote me. She then eventually left and left and go stay with her own mother that lives in a St. Thomas. People, let me ask you a question. When is she going to learn? Is she going to learn when this man pretty much take her away because she has given him so much opportunity? I am not going to justify and say she gave him a reason because nobody has any sort of reason to R-A-P-E, abuse, lick, lick up or threaten anybody's life. But me just say, if you get one chance, two chance, a hundred chance, don't wait until all of those chances have been expired before you make a move. Me just say, if you have to make a sensible decision, make that sensible decision for your children point blank and period so anyways people thanks once again for checking out my video if you appreciate videos like these please show your appreciation by liking commenting sharing and subscribing to my channel that is how youtube promotes videos like these to like-minded sensible persons like yourself and last but not least please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source the link is going to be in the description of this video bless up